indeed. All this? Nothing is forbidden? All is good. All is God's. 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 Calm down. Calm down, Peter. Pig's flesh washed down with goat's milk? Unclean food. No. No, our laws forbid it. You've been dreaming again. Dreaming? I saw this awning come down on me. And it was filled with all sorts of animals. The ones we're permitted to eat together with the forbidden ones. And a voice said, rise, Peter, kill and eat. Three times I heard it. It's just a bad dream, Peter. It means you're hungry. It means we must not be afraid of breaking bread with the Gentiles, Thomas, of eating their food if we're to bring them the good news. Do you remember the time when Jesus disputed with the scribes about what we should and shouldn't eat according to our ancient laws? He said, it is not what goes into a man's stomach that defiles him, but what comes out of his heart. It's not done to enter the house of the uncircumcised. Your brain creaks like your joints, Thomas. <laughs> the faith has to be brought to the Gentiles. No, no, no. It's for the Jews and the Jews only. I'm not going in anyway. Be it on your own head. Oh. <laughs> Here is Peter. Up, up. I'm a man like you. I offer you peace according to God's commandments. I know the commandments of your leaders, Master. Oh, not Master, please. Please, not Master. And it's unlawful for you to mix with the uncircumcised Romans, the oppressing Romans, that you're defiled by entering my house. And yet for me, you defy the rules. That's why I honor you. It's clear that God is no respecter of persons. Every nation that fears him and does right seems to be acceptable to him. You seek baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes.